best block story. You have a good one from back in the day. Um, we always used to have a competition. Uh, we call it B's versus C's, Brock and Brock, and me and Cash. We always competed whether we we always had, wrote it up, counted it down. Uh, it's either we would fish, we would compete, we would play pool and compete, golf, anything you can think of. Uh, you know, Brock's just an ultimate competitor. And I mean, both of them are. And you know, uh, everything we did was just always a competition between us. Chance to, to follow up on Brock had a rough week too, but knowing him like you know him, how do you expect him to respond to going into this game against you guys? He's gonna put everything in it. Um, you know, sometimes games don't go your way, and at quarterback, it's just you know amplified. Um, each week's a new week, and each week of preparation is a new week. And you know what he did last week doesn't say what he's gonna do this week, and what we did last week doesn't mean we're gonna do it this week. Yeah, as someone who's a roommate with Brock, the process of finding out that a teammate is transferring, what does that look like? And with Brock in particular, did you guys have a conversation that he was going to end up transferring or leaving? Um, you know, he's, I just leave it to him. I mean, uh, that's his process. Um, you know, whatever anybody on the team, anybody that transfers, we always wish the best for him. Um, you know, sometimes it might be for circumstances or sometimes reasons outside of football. And, um, you know, you know, I know he has his reasons, and um, he, uh, you know, I know and trust him to make a decision that puts him in the best place. Uh, yeah, I'll ask about a different uh, Brock that you should with Brock Powers. He made his NFL debut yesterday. Just what is it like seeing teammates take that stage, especially a guy that uh, you were so close with during his time here? Um, you know, it's just, it's just, an, you know, it's kind of an amazing thing. Um, especially coming in with him, being roommates with him, uh, just seeing him go to the next level and seeing his dreams come true. Um, you know, it's just a great experience overall. Going back to Brock Vandegrift, just I'd imagine you two have kept in touch. Just how, how frequently are y'all talking, texting? And um, what do you expect that communication to be like this week? Um, I mean, I'm not a big texter in general. I'm more of a see you in person, I'll, I'm talk to you. Um, not a big over the phone person anyways. Um, but we got, we have kept up, uh, you know, and I just coming up on this week, I know they're gonna be studying us, we're gonna be studying them. Uh, probably won't be that much communication, but you know, we'll meet up on the field. Have you had a chance to uh, hang out with him at all since he uh, transferred? And uh, have you been to Lexington and you to some time? Uh, I have not been up to Lexington. Uh, same when he came back for spring break. Uh, Chaz, I, obviously the transfer portal is here to stay. Uh, I, I just wondered, did, have you ever had uh, uh, to make that decision? Uh, Coach Smart was telling us that he meets and talks with everybody. Some some guys may be thinking of it, some guys go in it, you don't even know, and they come back out. And, and uh, have you experienced that yourself? And what's it like? I mean, it's, I guess it's something you guys deal with annually now, right? Yeah, I mean, um, I didn't really deal with it much because I just keep the main thing the main thing mainly. Um, I don't really care about uh, what media has to say about me or the money or anything. Because if you do your job in college, you have enough money to the next level, so. I wasn't really talking about money. I was talking about the process yeah. of deciding, you know, year to year, or you, am I gonna stay here or am I gonna go somewhere else? Yeah, I, mean, I just, I've always wanted to be coached hard. I want to be in a system that wins. I've always been in systems that win and I want to be, uh, in this place, and I just never came in my mind to leave. Chaz asked about another guy at Kentucky and Jamon. I mean, what did he mean to you on these past few defenses, and just what you, know, you expect to see from him Saturday? I mean, obviously that was my Mike linebacker for the past couple of years. Um, you know, just a guy that comes in day day in and day out. Um, I know he's not going to change based on where he goes. He's going to play the game as hard as he can. So play it physically. Uh, you know, he's going to be a leader wherever he goes. Chaz, Kirby always talks about how hard it is to win the SEC, how much more difficult it is to win on the road. I mean, how different does a road SEC win hit compared to the rest of the West? Um, you know, it's always hard to go on the road in SEC. Uh, fans are always going to be there. 
It's always when everybody's going to get our best shot, you know, and we talked about it last week. We want to give everybody our best shot. Um, and, you know, that's what is required whenever you go on the road uh, because you're in their elements, you're not at home, you don't have that advantage, and the uh, only thing you have is the way you play on the field. So. Kevin, I know you guys prepare the same for all the games, but I want to ask you to reflect back to your freshman year. It looks like you saw maybe your first defensive extended snap since UAB. Is that right? I mean, how important are those games for young players when, you, when you're playing an opponent where you have an opportunity to play a lot of young players? Yeah, it's, it's huge for the young players um, because you can practice every day against the same people. When we say every day, we go against the best competition at practice, but it's different when you're in that stadium. There's no coach out there to hold your hand. There's no mic out there. It's just you and the other team, and it just instills confidence in them. And, uh, you know, confidence only comes with snaps. Did it matter much that they kicked the field goal at the end of the game? I know you guys were about to shut out, but, uh, you know, no touchdowns again for another week in a row? Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, – we always say if you're out there, you're a starter. And the expect, expectation is that they don't score. So it's kind of a uh, let down at the end. You guys asked uh, Xavier about the run, uh, y'all's running back room, just what y'all got there. Just what's that challenge like every time y'all go out at practice trying to stop those running backs? Yeah, I mean, you have guys with speed, you have guys with power, you have guys with a mix of both. Uh, they can hit you in the pass game, they can spread you out, go man on man. Uh, inside the tackles, you know, every, every single runner like we have can read the holes, they can hit holes, um, they can bounce it. I mean, you just see the best competition every single day. Chuck, this has been historically, you know, under Kirby, one of the tougher NFC places for you guys to go into. What is it uh, that makes what that program does in that place, you know, a challenge for you guys? You know, traditionally they, they do what they do and they don't stray away from it. Uh, traditionally, they've been a run-heavy team. They're a hard-nosed team. They pride themselves on running the ball. And running the ball over and over and over is something that you just have to have a mindset for. Uh, you know, going against some teams, they might run it, and when it doesn't work, they'll go pass, whether they do screens or they do quick game. But uh, traditionally, they've been a team that just sticks to their, their guns and just goes for it. So. Any more questions for Chaz? All right, Chaz, thank you, sir. Thanks, Chaz.